All right, I'm gonna do a video overview of Things for Mac. This is really more of a review than an overview. Nonetheless, I'm just gonna share my experience with task management and project management and to-do lists. I am horrible at organizing myself. And the fact that I own a few businesses, that can be a bit of a challenge. So I made it my goal to find a proper to-do list, you know, task management system. And I stumbled upon the getting things done method and um, you know, kind of made my own little system, but I needed to find a good application to, to assist in that process because writing things down and using folders doesn't really cut it. So I found Things for Mac, and this is a really popular to-do task and project management tool, uh, again, for OS X, for, for Mac users. And the, uh, the first thing you'll notice is it's beautiful. It's a really simple application. It's beautiful in design, um, but it's also beautiful in its function. So you know, I looked at a bunch of different products. Wonderlist, which is another cool uh, application. It's kind of a second runner-up. Check it out. It's free. Uh, there's a free iPad app, a free Mac app. It's all cloud-based. So Wonderlist is great, but it's kind of lacking in, in some areas. Uh, so with that said, I tried OmniFocus, um, a bunch of them. At any rate, I settled upon things. And again, this is a really personal, or excuse me, a really uh, popular product, uh, but you'll find that people gripe about its price. And let me first address the price. It's 49 bucks. If you save an hour of your time a week, it's already paid for itself. So make the investment, download the 30-day trial and give it a spin, and uh, commit to it for a month. And I think at the end of the month, you'll find that it's certainly worth its weight in gold. You'll also find that people complain about having to buy a Mac, or excuse me, a iPad and an iPhone app separately. It's not a universal app. They are separate uh, purchases. However, my work style, I, when I'm on my computer, I'm working. If I'm on my iPad, I'm relaxing and uh, using it for entertainment purposes, so it doesn't really bother me. All right, let me give you a, a quick highlight of some of my favorite features. I don't work a lot in the actual things interface. You know, it's kind of out of the way. It's unobtrusive, which is one of the things I love most about it. What I use is the quick entry function. So I've assigned my own custom keyboard shortcut, although um, you know it comes with a default shortcut. But what I do is I hit Command and I hit the, the right arrow, and that pulls up a quick entry little dialog window here. And so this is my opportunity to enter in something quick. You know, record things for Mac overview. So you can see I can enter in a title. I can give this tags. Tags are effectively contexts. It helps you to filter your to-dos, tasks, and projects. So here, you can either enter in, if I hit M on the keyboard, anything that begins with an M is gonna populate. So if I have a meeting, if I have a video to record, I can enter in the appropriate tags, or I can hit the down button, and it's gonna give me these recent tags. And you can see here that it stores your tags, so you can assign contexts to this. And I'm gonna show you how important this is later, because it's really a way for you to drill down and focus on what's important today, now, what's high priority, what's an errand, etc. Now, of course, I can enter in notes. Um, so, area to enter in notes. So, um, upload, whatever, maybe. Uh, and then I can tab over to the calendar function. This lets me set, set a, uh, a due date. Now, my biggest complaint with all of the Mac apps that relate to this space, to do task management, project management, nobody lets you specify a, an alarm or a time. So, here I can specify a date that this is due. So, I can say it's due today. Um, but I can't specify a time. What if something's due at 3 o'clock? So I don't know why everybody's negligent of alarms and reminders and uh, setting a time because in my business and in my workday, I have to do things by a specific time or I have to join a meeting at a specific time. So I'll show you how I address that with another app, which is a bit frustrating, but so go it. That's my only complaint with the product. Now, if I don't choose to assign this to a project or to an area of responsibility, it's just going to go immediately to my inbox. So I'll save that. I'm going to go back to things. And I'll point this out in the getting things done methodology, which again, you know, I read, I understand, but I've kind of adapted it to my own work style. You need a place to collect things that you need to do. So tasks, to-dos that you haven't yet made a decision about. How important is it? What area of responsibility does it belong in? What project does it belong in? So think of your inbox as just a receptacle for stuff. And then you get to go through that stuff and prioritize, organize, and assign actions. And if something doesn't, you know, isn't important, it doesn't have an action that can be assigned to it, then I'm gonna deal with it. And things helps you in that process. So number one, starting at the top, inbox. This is for things that you haven't yet assigned a priority or a, a position or a space to. So what I have the opportunity to do is drag this into different areas. I can assign this to a task to do today in the focus panel. 
I could as as schedule it. One of my favorite tools is I can hover this over the schedule function and here I can say, you know what, I want to review this in four days or in one week's time and you can get a, uh, it will automatically move this to your today uh, function when that uh, time has arrived. So you can see here in one week, move to today, or I can highlight that so it you know becomes obvious. So again, I have the ability to, to move and shift this whenever or wherever it's relevant, schedule the time. I can also filter this in the someday you know uh, area. So things that I want to do, I just haven't you know been able to assign a date or you know dial in the context any further. I can just throw it into someday. These are things that I hope to do. These are projects I want to get to at some point. They're important but it's not really important now. And of course we have projects. You can create a new project. Uh, here you'll see the project title and then you'll see the, the number of subtasks that happen to be in that particular uh, you know, project. Now one thing that you'll notice in the, in the top bar here, you'll see these tags display. Again, these are contexts. So this lets me drill down. So here's my to-dos and tasks for the day. But if I wanna see my meetings, if I wanna see what's assigned to a specific business or you know, what's high priority, I have the ability to, to click through these tags and it's going to automatically let me focus on you know, those particular contexts. Really, really valuable to help you prioritize and, and really focus on, uh, again, what's important. So moving down, uh, of course, you know, here's our warehouse for our active projects. You can, you know, maybe you're working on a project and you're waiting on other people or it, it shifts in terms of its you know, priority. I can shift this or deactivate a specific project. So if something's not necessarily important today, I can inactivate a project. and um, Again, that's going to shift it down to someday and scheduled so I can revisit that later if necessary. Now, one of the functions that I didn't find a lot of people reviewing or spending a lot of time talking about is the areas of responsibility. So I own multiple businesses. It's important for me to know what's going on and where you know tasks are assigned and where my time is being spent. So I have the ability to filter projects and tasks by certain uh, you know, uh, areas of responsibility. So whether it be personal, whether it be you know, a specific business, um, I can filter. Uh, to do's tasks uh, relevant to my areas of responsibility. So that's really a, just a general tour of things. Of course, you know, we can get into a lot of the minutia, uh, like the logbook. You know, once you clear a project or a task or a to do, it filters it into your logbook so you can revisit it later. Uh, there is some basic integration with iCal. Uh, so if you do use iCalendar to, to you know, manage your tasks, to do's, and set actual alarms, uh, you have the ability to sync you know, your to do's and tasks with iCal. However, again, there's no alarm. Uh, device syncing, you, you can wirelessly sync with iPhone, iPad, touch versions of uh, things. And again, those are separate transactions, separate purchases. They're not universal. And this does this via wireless, so wireless internet connection, uh, Wi-Fi connection. Uh, currently, Things is in beta for their uh, cloud-based syncing service, and that's going to be a paid uh, option. Again, my workflow is if I'm at work, I'm on my computer, in which case I'm looking at things, but if I'm on my iPad, it's entertainment time. So that's a quick review of things for Mac. Again, I've showed you my two favorite functions. I have one left, and then I'm gonna show you my sort of uh, hack for managing um, uh, alarms. So one of my s favorite functions is the ability to add content directly from an email or from a website. So if I go and uh, copy content, I have the ability to, uh, you know, to put this automatically into a to-do. So here I've highlighted some, some information. I'm gonna hit my keyboard shortcut, and you see how it takes that highlighted information and puts it right into this to-do. You can also copy and paste content. So let's say that I want to bring in a document. I can drag and drop that document and it gives an exacting link right back to that document. So I can also grab a string of emails and you see here I'm holding down, there's you know five threads within this email. I can put it into this to-do as well. So again, that's probably my top favorite function because I don't have to work in things, it's not obtrusive. I just hit a keyboard stroke and I can automatically add a to-do and a task. So I typically live in my email inbox and that's really convenient. Now let me show you my workaround. So if I set a to-do and I have to have a reminder and I'm really bad about this, so this is why I had to seek out this product. Here in my um, menu bar is a little application called Notificant. So here if I uh, select this, I have the ability to say new notification and of course I've assigned a keyboard shortcut so you can see how easy this is. I hit my keyboard uh, stroke, Oop, wrong one, and I have the ability to automatically add a new notification. So here I can put in notes and you see it gives you 160 characters so I can copy and paste you know, a link for a meeting or whatever it may be. I can schedule this 
you know, of course choose the date and I can set the time. Here's the most important thing is the ability to set a time. Now you also have the ability to get an email alert. So you buy this app, it, it's $4.99, $4.99 one time investment and uh, there's also a web interface. So effectively this is going to give me an email alert on my computer and it looks like a growl alert or I can get an email alert or both. So if I happen to be you know, in a meeting and I'm talking to somebody and on my Blackberry I get an email alert saying, hey, you have a meeting in five minutes. You know, I don't necessarily have to be at my computer to get that notification. So this is an awesome tool. Uh, again, well worth it. Uh, make sure to check this out. I'll leave a link in this blog posting so you can go and, and check it out and you can set up a free account and kind of take a look at what the web interface looks like, but it's really, really simple. So here I, I can go launch the web application and you can see here this is a you know, really nice design. Uh, again, you can use this on your iPhone, uh, on your Mac, and of course there's a web interface. So uh, really cool product, and again, I like the fact that I get email alerts and I get an alert on my computer. So that's my review of things, and you've seen my hack for managing uh, alarms and noti notifications. And uh, ho hopefully this has been beneficial, and I've put some extra content, some screenshots in the blog post, so make sure to check that out.